Hello friends, uh, in this session we are going to see data interpretation, one of the very, very important uh, topic in the quantitative aptitude because if you see there will be two to three sets of four to five questions each. Considering the cutoff and all scenario, if you are not uh, very much into the quants, that means you are not very focused on the quants because there are other subjects to focus in uh, RBI grade B exam. So if that is your situation that you uh, don't understand much the profit and loss, SICA, times with distance time and work, but even if you understand the basic topics like average, percentage and ratio, then even you go for data interpretation and still clear the cutoff because the cutoff barrier is important for these exams. Anyways, how much ever you score in tier one, they are not going to be counted in the uh, tier two or uh, afterwards. So you, the first priority of yours should be clearing the cutoff and data interpretation is a really, really good idea to focus upon to clear the cutoff. So data interpretation uh, in RBI grade B it is not going to be difficult. It is going to be, it might be calculation wise, little lengthy, but difficulty wise, uh, trust me, it is not going to be much. So today we'll see some sets that they have asked in previous exams, but let us start first with the easy set. So as to understand what data interpretation exactly is. So let us read this. Following table shows, uh, shows a survey of number of people who live in their homes and the number of people who live on range from different villages, A to E, study the following table carefully and give the answers. Question number one, find the percent increase in the number of people who live on rent with respect to home in village D. So in D, there were 60,000 on home and 80,000 on rent. They're asking what is the percent increase? So basically what they mean is this number is what percent more than this number. So for such calculations, you can just take the ratio and still solve 60,000 and 80,000. You are asked. 80,000 is what percent more than 60,000? So you can first take the ratio. The ratio is 3 to 4. You are asked 4 is what percent more than 3? So it is 1 more as compared to 3. And the fraction value, even if you know for 1 by 3, is 33.33%. So the answer here is 33.33%. Let's see the next one. Find the difference between the number of people who live in home from all villages to the rent. Difference, basically, they are asking between the total. So you can just add this up. This is uh, 1 lakh, 2 lakh 10,000 to 2 lakh 35,000 is the total here. And here the total is going to be 80 and 120, 2 lakh, 2 lakh 25,000. So the difference between these two, as you can see, is 10,000. So that is going to be the answer. Let's see the next one. Which village has the highest ratio of number of people who live in home to rent? So if you take this ratio, it is going to be 5, 9s are 5, 5s are. So the ratio is 9 is to 5. And if you write in fraction form, 9 by 5 is 1.8. This is going to be 5, 50s to 35 means 5, 10s are 5, 7s are. So if you take 10 is to 7 ratio, it is going to be 1.42 approximately. This even, we are not even going to consider because this ratio is going to be one less than one because these are lesser than 40,000. So the ratio is going to be less than one. Here also, the ratio is going to be less than one. So we are not going to even consider this. 55 to 45 or it is going to be 5 11s are 5 9s are. So 11 is to 9. If you calculate the fraction 11 upon 9, it is going to be 1.222. So clearly of these three, this being the highest, the answer will be option number A. Let's see the next one. Find the average number of people who live in home. So home total we already have calculated that was 2,35,000. If you want to calculate the average, divide it with the number of observations that is 5. It will come out to be 4, 7, 47,000. Option number one. Find the ratio of the number of people who live in home to rent on A and C together. So in A, 45,000 and in C, 25,000 live in home. The total being 70,000. And in A, 25 live on rent and 40,000 live on uh, C in in C on rent, 
total is 65,000. They are asking what is the ratio between these two? So clearly the ratio here is 3, 0 cut, 3, 0 cut, 5, uh, 5 is 14 times, 5 is 13 times. The ratio is going to be 14 is to 13. So yes, this was easy set. This was just as a just for the practice in actual exam. Set might be little more calculative, but not difficult. So let's see what kind of sets they have asked in previous years. So this is the set that they asked. Five TV channels ABCD show two types of movies, Bollywood and Hollywood. Number of movies shown by these five TV channels are given in the bar graph. Of course, this data was not provided to us, the, the actual numbers. But the graph can be a little uh, blur for you in the video. So I have mentioned the numbers. The numbers, of course, we have to guess it from the bar graphs like this. Let's go for the calculation. Number of Hollywood movies telecasted on channel E, that is 640, are what percent more than the number of Bollywood movies telecasted on the same channel? So they are asking 640 is what percent more than 480? So I told you, whenever you have to calculate one number is what percent of or what percent more or less than the another number, you can take the ratio. It is 24, uh, 16 is 3 times, 16 is 4 times. This is what percent more than this. So easily you can say it is 1 more as compared to 3. And the fraction value of 1 by 3 is 33.33. .33. Answer will be option number E. Second, what is the average number of Hollywood movies telecasted on B, D, E together? So in B, there are 700 Hollywood movies. In D, there are 820 Hollywood movies. And in E, there are 640 Hollywood movies. So there are going to be 2160 number of Hollywood movies in these three. If you want the average of three, we have to divide it with three. And the average is going to be 720. Option number B. Next. What is the ratio of the total number of movies daily costed on A and E? So in A, there are total 600 plus 360, 960 movies. And E, there are 1120 movies. We want the ratio of these two. 0, 0 goes. This is 16, 6 times, 16, 7 times. The ratio is going to be 6 is to 7. Easy? Let's see one more. What is the difference between the Bollywood movies telecasted on A and C? to the number of Hollywood movies on B and so A and C, the Bollywood movies are A and C, the total Bollywood movies are 600 that is 1040. And the Hollywood movies on B and D, that is 700 and 820, that is 1520. They are asking what is the difference between these two. Difference clearly is going to be 480. Option number D. Thirty percent. Thirty percent of the Bollywood movies telecasted on E and twenty percent of Hollywood movies telecasted on same channel were historical events. So thirty percent of this, thirty percent of four eighty means four eighty into thirty upon hundred. You can do it. And twenty percent of the Hollywood movies, twenty percent of these, those are going to be one twenty eight. So how many total Hollywood movies? Uh, sorry, total movies on E are on historical. So these many plus these many, those are going to be on the historical events. So that is going to be 272. Option number E. 272. Let's see the next one. Okay. So that was the set uh, which, which they asked in 19. And I hope you understood. It is pretty easy, right? So yes, you have to pick the easy sets like this. So that you can get the out of five marks and make that chunk of marks. Let's see next uh, set here.
Okay, so this is another set that they ask in 2018. Read the following information carefully, answer the questions. The tabular graph below shows the data related to students in different schools. So some data is obviously missing. So we have to go question by question. You don't have to fill the data up front. You have to go question by question. The first question it asks, if 25% of boys in you got scholarship. So in you school, if you see, there are 1500 students out of which boys to girls ratio is 12 is to 30. So if you can quickly divide this into 12 is to 30, we get 20, we have to divide 1500 in the ratio 12 is to 30. Now 12 plus 13 is 25 in the ratio world, which is actually 60 times. This also will get 60 times, that is 720. This also will get 60 times, that is 780. 780 are girls, 720 are boys. They are saying if 25% of this get scholarship, 25% of this is 180. So 180 boys got scholarship and the total percentage of students who got scholarship was 20%. So out of 1500, the total people who got scholarship was 20%, which is 300. So if total students who got scholarship was 300, out of which boys who got scholarship were 180. So the girls who got scholarship were 120. So 120 girls got scholarship. So out of 780 girls, if 120 got scholarship, so the difference, which is 660, 660 girls did not get the scholarship. This is how you can calculate it. Let's see next question here. Sixty percent of the students who pass the exam in school Q are boys. So school Q. Total fifteen hundred students are there. The ratio of pass to fail is eight is to seven. So first fifteen hundred we have to divide in the ratio eight is to seven for pass is to fail. Eight plus seven is fifteen. It is getting hundred times. So this will also get hundred times. This will also get hundred times. That means 800 got passed and 700 got failed. They are saying out of the ones who passed, 60% are boys. 60% of this, that is 480 if boys remaining 320 are going to be girls. Then they are asking the percentage of girls who pass exam is 80%. So the girls who pass the exam, those are 320 are 80% of the total girls. So 320 is equal to 80% of the total number of girls. So you can say this is 4 times. That means the total girls are 400. If the total girls are 400, they are asking what is the total number of boys in this. So out of, out of total 1500, if 400 are girls, remaining 1100 are going to be boys so answer is going to be 1100 let's see the next set uh, next question if the difference between the boys and girls in school p is 180 so school p the ratio is 7 is to 9 so in the ratio word the difference is 2 which is actually said 180 that is 90 times that means this will also get 90 times, which is 630. And this will also get 90 times, which is 810. That means these many boys are there. These many girls are there in the school P. Then find how many students in P did not get scholarship. They are saying out of the total students, total students here are 1440. Out of these students, 65% got scholarship. So if 65% got scholarship, that means 35% did not get scholarship. You are asked how many people did not get scholarship. That means 35%. So without even going for calculation first, you have to realize your answer has to be multiple of 7 because 35 is a multiple of 7. So if you can just figure out multiple of 7 from the option, like this is not the multiple of 7. This is not the multiple of 7. This is multiple of 7. This is also multiple of 7. And this is also not the multiple of 7. So if you can shortest like this, sometimes it is helpful. 
But otherwise, even if you calculate, it's not going to be much a calculation. 5 2s are 5 7s are. And this is going to be 72 times. 72 into 7, 490 plus 14. 504 is going to be the answer. Let's see the next one. If the number of students who receive scholarship in school R is 540, which is 60% of the total people, so total students, 60% of it, those who receive scholarship, 60% of it is 540, it said, which is nine times. That makes the total student as 900. And 20% of the boys in school are received scholarship. Now you know if total are 900, the boys to girl ratio is also given. For R, we know the ratio is 4 is to 5. So if the ratio is 4 is to 5, for boys is to girls, that means 400 are the boys, 500 are the girls. Out of these boys, 20% receive scholarship. That means 80 boys receive scholarship. And the total people who receive scholarship are 540. So out of 540, 80 boys are there. That means 460 girls are there. Percentage of girl receiving scholarship out of the total girls. Total girls are 500, out of which 460 are receiving scholarship. So with how many percent girls receiving scholarship? That is 460 is what percent of 500 they are asking. What percent of the girls receiving scholarship can just solve this? It is going to be 92%. Option number D. If 20% of the students who pass the examination in school S, so in school S, there are 1800 students, out of which the ratio of pass to fail is given as 5 is to 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. It is 200 times. So that makes this 1,800. 1,000 students pass, 800 students fail. Out of this 1,000, 20% receive scholarship. 20% of this is 200 receive scholarship in school S. Then find the number of girls who receive scholarship if 120 boys receive scholarship. In school S, Out of total 200 students who receive scholarship, 120 are boys. So remaining 80 are going to be girls. And that is what they are asking. Find the number of girls who receive scholarship. That is 80. Option number E. Let's see the next one. 